Do it. Oh. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. All right, that's much less pronounced. All right. Yes. All right. I'm sure you could tell the difference. Hey, you know which one was real, which one was fake? I'm pretty sure it's pretty obvious. Okay? Just because of the beginning part, okay? We we know which one's real, which one's fake. Look at the top on this one, man. That's beautiful. That's really beautiful. Okay, look at these tops. I'm not saying that the uh, Gibson one sucks, but compare that to this. It looks a little like it's dirty or something. I mean, it looks okay. I don't know. What do you, what do you guys think? Just compare them. I'm going to try to get out of the shadow. talk about the differences in the rosewood boards on these guitars I mean if you really take a good look at these there's no comparison I hope that the GoPro can catch but this board is just nothing like this real Gibson fretboard this board this Chinese board is completely dry we have problems with frets coming out that, I mean, I can tell that over time they're not going to last because I can almost see a spacing between the frets. If you look at my frets on this Gibson, but the, uh, the quality of the clones is no comparison when it comes to the actual construction and materials that are used with the genuine Gibson compared to the Gibson Chinese counterfeit knockoff guitar, which... I honestly bought one of these because I had bought a fake Gibson thinking it was real before. And I tell you, owning one of these Chipsons has saved me a lot of money because uh, I've gone to estate sales and I've, I've seen Chipsons before and I only way I knew that they were Chipsons was I took them apart and I could see that they had Epiphone pickups in them. But if I hadn't seen a Chipson before, if I haven't one, knowing the telltale signs, that this has saved me some money having this. That's one of the original reasons why I purchased this. And uh, you can really tell the differences when you, when you hold them up. The, it really helps you know what to look for if you're buying. Because I buy at auctions before, and I've uh, you know done a lot of guitar wheeling and dealing because, let's face it, I won sexy mother and uh, you see, a lot of women would love to have this hair. This hair, right here. <clears throat> Come on. <laughs> Get him. Fucking thing. My stupid fucking ponytail. I mean, a lot of women want to have this hair between their legs. They just want to rub their hands through my hair. And, uh, ah, got a rat in my hair. But, uh, just look at my sexy hair and my muscles. <laughs> and you see, uh, this is a new guitar channel called Guitar Orders Anonymous. <laughs> kind of like Zach Bacon. Sort of, a little bit. I don't even know who that is. You've referenced him so many times. Zach Bacon is from Ghost Adventures. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's Shh. right. I can't remember shit, apparently. You see, I'm just like Zach Bacon. It's only a little bit less attractive, I guess. <laughs> But it's okay. So, do you have any final thoughts, Austin? I mean, AW. I mean, I don't know if you can really compare fretboards on these too much. This one I feel is exceptionally dark for rosewood. I've got so many guitars. Rosewood can be so many different shades. It's really subjective. Throw some oil on it, and you might see a difference. It's yeah, this one's already done. Maybe that one just needs a treatment. It's hard to tell right now. Well, I, I put a lot. Of, I put oil on it when I first got it. I did 
And normally I put very little, but mm -hmm. I might try to put a different oil on there to see if I can get it to look a little bit better. It does look better if you put stuff on there, but it's one of those things that it is exciting to get something like this you now, like on Christmas, because it is it is a really fun guitar to have. It's like having one of those fake Louis Vuitton uh, like purses that women buy. This is like the equivalent of women buying fake Louis Vuitton purses. This is like the guy thing, the guy version of a Louis Vuitton fake purse. It's like two hundred dollars, but I mean. It is kind of exciting because, like, I got one for Christmas for myself this year, and I tell you what, it was a magical Christmas because I was, I was just like, oh, oh, look at my pretend Les Paul, it looks so real because I've never had one before, and uh, it was a pretty good Christmas. I like this guitar. I mean, you know, if you spend a lot of time with it, you stroke it right. It's just kind of like the one where you got to touch it right in the right way. This guitar can do great things for your career.